And Senator Barrasso. Uh, thanks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. O'Toole, uh, we talked about, uh, for, thank you for that amazing opening statement. Never checked a note, talked from the heart, very emotional, hit, hit every member of the, of the panel. I'm very grateful for you to be here. I wanted to ask you about the, the impact on food costs that, that, that the drought has brought, because you made, a recommend, you made some suggestions there. Uh, what we're seeing is a reduction in food supplies, increasing costs for American families, uh, so to address this and provide more water, Wyoming continues to advocate for things such as more water storage, to be more efficient in capturing water from agricu for agriculture use rather than let it flow downstream, more flexibility from the Bureau in, in reservoir operations to better manage available water supplies and better forecasting data. Uh, do you agree with these, with these steps and are they going to help lead to more food production if we do those things? Um. Thank you for that question, uh, Senator, and it, it, I, I absolutely do, and our written testimony is prodigious, as you can tell, and it's full of recommend, specific recommendations um, about how we make these moves forward. The thing that I, I'd like to emphasize, though, and let's just take the cattle and sheep industry that I'm involved in, you know, the pricing that's going to the consumer has nothing to do with the producers. We're not, we're not receiving that benefit. And, you know, what I think is America is, is this ecological and incredible um, system that knows how to produce food and knows how to how, do rural communities. I said at a hearing with Senator Bennett recently, um, what's happening in the Amazon is a crime against humanity. And we've got to realize that in places where, where good is happening, we have to accelerate the, um, the benefits. And, and the base benefit for the American population is a food supply. We are giving away our soup, food supply capability and the recommendations from the Family Farm Alliance are specific things that this committee has recommended, things that other, the Ag Committee has recommended. We just have to start implementing. If there's, a, if there's one message I have today, it's implementation. Please, let the, you know, there, there is no esprit de corps in a lot of the bureaucracy right now. That's a result of COVID and all kinds of things. The agencies have to have the ability to direct activities that we all agree on to get done. And the permitting of the, of the reservoir in my community that, that I'm very familiar with is so frustrating. Meeting two times a week in a, in a no-brainer process. The Forest Service is desperate to get in and fix what they know is broken, to deliver water. 160,000 acre feet doesn't go down the North Platte River because the forest isn't functioning. We know that. We have to change that. And that's the case with every watershed in the western United States where the water for the beer wreck comes from. Well, in addition, what you talked about in terms of the, the producers not noticing the, they see the increased prices but not having the impact effect back to them, is what I was this past weekend, it was the 150th anniversary, the Wyoming right. Stock Growers Association was with all of them uh, in Cheyenne this, this weekend. You go to the grocery store and prices are up on hamburger, eggs, milk, soup, things that, you know, Bobby and I go to the store to buy. So we're seeing it, but it's, as you point out, it's not heading back. I, I wanted to get to the next question, which is the, the Goshen Irrigation District tunnel collapse. And you've been to the site. I've been to the site. Uh, it left more than 100,000 acres of cropland in both Wyoming and Nebraska without water. Uh, significantly impacted farmers, ranchers, both states. And that's why I introduced this bill, S-4233, the Platte River Basin Critical Maintenance and Repair Act to secure funding to address this. Would you agree that drought only underscores the need for addressing lots of aging infrastructure, such as what we saw there at the Goshen Irrigation District collapse? Well, it's, it's as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, about the Ukrainian issue is a real issue with food and wheat and distribution, but it's a bigger issue than that. It's a bigger issue with American farmers and food production. And what drought has done is moved ahead. Trends that were happening um, without this kind of drought and climate driven, whatever, whatever's happening to us is so different. Um, it's, it's trends that have been happening. And as you know, I've testified here before on the need for storage, on the need for forest, on the need. And, I, and I'm, what I'm trying to you know, just give you from my heart, it's not happening. It's not happening at the pace that Americans deal with crisis. We're, we're crisis managers in America, and this committee is a crisis management committee. Your direction is so critical that it be Im implemented. Uh, Commissioner Tootin, you know, many of the actions taken in the past to address the drought in the Colorado River Basin were to increase the flexibility in how the lower basin states can store and use water. Um, I, this was done using existing authorities. 
that increased flexibility has extended the lower basin's access to water and the reliability of available water supplies you know, over the last 20 years. What comparable increased flexibility is the Bureau considering or pursuing for the upper basin states, like Wyoming, in terms of what you know, Mr. O'Toole just talked about in operation of federal reservoirs here? Sure, thank you for that question. First, um, on the aging infrastructure, um, your report, your legislation is the basis of what we have as uh, our, our framework for what we fund. So Goshen Irrigation District and that work, um, top of mind for us at Reclamation. Uh, regarding flexibilities, that's a conversation we're having with the states. One of the flexibilities we had under DROA, Drought Relief Operations Act, is to move water from Flaming Gorge down to Lake Powell. Um, but so there are conversations that need to be had, and it's not reclamation telling the states what to do. It, it has to be, what is it you need? Here is my authorities. And if we don't have the ability to do that, to have a conversation with this committee. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I'll, I'll go now with my questions very quickly. This is to all five of you, and if you 